Hi photo crew. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what is in my camera bag. I'm really excited about this because in my last video, I kind of talked about what camera I use, a good alternative, also some lenses that come with the camera, norm camera normally. And so today I'm going to be talking about what lenses I use and what is in my camera bag. So first I'm going to start off by talking about where it's from, when I got it, things like that. So this I got about four years ago, I want to say. Um, I got it from my mom and dad for Christmas. And this is an Amazon brand. And it looks like this. It's got three compartments. So it has like a smaller compartment in the front, like a medium one right here, and then the large one where you keep like your camera and lenses and things like that. So first in the little compartment, I have these. These are just little fiber cloth, um, or not even fiber cloth, they're just like little cloth, um, little wipes to wipe down your lenses or your camera. So it's always good to have. I always put a new one in like every couple months or something once it gets dirty. So, I would get yourself one of those. Now I can't put it back into the bag. Okay. So, the next thing that I have in here is my camera charger. Now, I just leave this in my bag so that I always know where it's at, but it's not like I go to photo shoots and plug it in. But just so that I always know that I have it and where it's at, so... The next thing I normally have is just like paperwork for like my senior reps. This is from recently, I believe. So I have to put it in my binder. I have my senior reps and seniors that aren't even reps. I have them fill out this worksheet um, and then I put it in a binder. That way I keep track of everything. So I always keep those in there before I put them in my binder. Um, the next thing that I have is my business cards. Just like that. I got mine off of Vistaprint. And my fiance ordered them like right when I started. So like five years ago. And he ordered like a million of them. And I'm still using the same like batch. I... I suggest getting some business cards even if you're just like starting out because there's so many times where I will be at like Hobby Lobby and I'll be getting like props and the lady you know the cashier just makes small talk and she's like oh what are you using these for and I'm like oh I'm a photographer and she asked for my business card so I give her my business card and I ended up taking some photos for her and then also I had a mini session at a park and this mom comes up with her kids and asks for my business card. So there's so many like scenarios that could happen that you need a business card. And they're super in inexpensive. I don't know how much mine were because I didn't order them. But I know that they're really inexpensive. And I just got mine off of this to print. So I always like to keep a good amount in the front pocket. So now on to the, the middle compartment. So it's kind of like the medium sized one. Um, I just keep two things. I keep my, my speed lights. So I have two of them. I don't really use these as much anymore ever since I got my new lens. These just help in like darker settings. So if you're taking pictures closer to the sun going down or it's a super cloudy day, these are always great. And they're really inexpensive. I think, I want to say they're only about like $30, $35. I could be wrong. They could be way more expensive. I got these a long time ago, so the price could be different now. But they're just speed lights. And I use the newer brand. N-E-E-W-E-R. Yeah. And I use a bunch of products from this uh, company. I'll use like uh, different kind of lights, ring lights. 
I've used like um, prop uh, stands so to put like uh, I'm like drawing a blank right now to put like backdrops up you need like a stand for them so I use that brand as well also like light boxes and shadow boxes and things like that so I just keep those two things in here so, yeah. now for the big compartment oh and it also has these little side pockets as well I don't think I have anything in here um, there is one on each side so, if you need some more storage. So, in the big compartment, looks like this. Got all my stuff. So, I will. So, first is my camera. i take the lens off, though. So, Carter just actually got me the strap for my birthday. I believe he got it off of Amazon, so I will try to link everything down below that I can find. Everything might not be the same prices as they are when I got them, but I'm going to try and list all lenses, cameras, straps, accessories, things like that down below so you guys know where, where to find it and you can get it easily. So this just like literally straps around you and it ha lets your camera just hang so you can do hands-free. This helps with like, you know, when you're photographing um, kids, like they'll step on like something and it moves and like, you know, it's just best to have like a hands-free option. That way you can move any props that you need to, fix your model, things like that. So the next thing that I have is this, which I don't have any in right now because I have one in my laptop and then also one in the office but this is where you hold your camera cards I can't think of the name right now I don't know why I can't think of it but your you know camera cards and they just slip right through and this one comes with like six yeah and this reminds me of like the DS game holders I used to have a DS and I had something similar to this. So yeah, it's always good to have one of these, especially if you use multiple cards like I do when one, like if I'm shooting a bunch in one day, like I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need two cards. So it's just nice to have one of these. Next, I have one of these. Now I don't really use this anymore. I kind of use this as a backup. Now I kind of just put the card into the computer, but this is like sometimes how you would uh, like download the pictures from your camera to your computer. So I just have a backup one in case I need it or uh, if Carter needs it. Carter is also a YouTuber and he does a bunch of filming and things like that. And so we're, we love cameras over here. We love, you know, anything camera. So it's always good to just have a backup and an extra one. So the next thing I want to talk about are these two lenses. So these are the lenses that I was talking about in my last video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go over and watch that one. And I talk more into depth about these lenses, but these are the 18 to 55 millimeter and the 55 to 200 millimeter with apertures around four. So these are great lenses. These normally come with the camera. Uh, sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. It just depends on where you get it from and things like that. But they're both have an option for automatic and manual, which I stressed in my last video to definitely do, um, auto for that automatic focus so yeah these are two great lenses I kind of already talked about these so I'm not gonna go super into depth about them but I have these in my camera bag so the next lens I have a flower cap on and this helps with excessive sunlight or you know if it rains or snows things like that so I like to always pop one of these on. I do want to order more for my other lenses. I don't know why I haven't yet, but. So this is 
my wide angle lens. You can do a whole room with not even like being super far back. It gives a really wide range. Um, I'm trying to see, it doesn't say, it does have an aperture of 2.8. Um, it does zoom a little bit. This one, I find it harder to use. I don't always like using this one, but this is a good one if you need a wide angle. I don't normally use these for like portraits or anything like that. Normally what I'll do is I'll use this for an event if, you know, it's a big event in a big room or if... I've, I've used this before with one of my seniors at a football field and I was trying to get the whole entire field with them in it. So this is a good lens. I just don't use it all the time, but I will link it down below. Now for my last, but definitely not least, lens. This is my favorite one, which I actually want to wipe it. Beautiful. Okay. So this little small guy, he is small, but he is mighty. And this has a aperture of 1.8. So the background is super, super, super blurry and it's a 35 millimeter. So it's not a zoom lens. So if you wanna get farther away or closer up, you have to move yourself. But odds are like, I don't do super far shots with a lot of portraits just because, you know, People want portraits of where you can like see them clearly unless it's a specific idea but um, this is my favorite lens this is a great lens it's small but it is seriously the best lens and I do want to order a new one of these just because I've had this one for so long and I really want to upkeep with my you know lenses and things like that so I think it's time for me to get a new one because I use this one probably I don't even know, but I use it multiple times a week. I at least use it, you know, once a week. So, and I've had this for a few years now and I probably want to order a new one. Super inexpensive, not expensive at all. I think, uh, I think Carter bought me this one one year, like three years ago, maybe two years ago. No, definitely three years ago. Um, so I've had this for a while, but I use it nonstop, so it's like I had it for years and years and years. So, Whew. got my hair. Okay, so this is the inside. So you have, you know, all your little lens compartments and then your camera goes up here. And then also you have little zippers up top. I don't have anything in mind right now, but I have put things in there before. And so, yeah, they're kind of mesh, so they're like see-through, but super convenient. Can you show that? Okay. So, that is all in my camera bag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.